Hey guys, what's up? This edition of Why You Should Learn Python in 2018 is brought to you by Dev Mountain Coding Bootcamp. Make sure you guys check them out if you're interested in going to a coding bootcamp. They have very good reviews and the link is in the description tab below. Hey guys, what up? So in this video, I'm doing a follow-up to a popular video that I did back in 2006 about why Python was a good language to learn. Um, there was also some confusion about whether or not you guys think that I'm like um, promoting Python or promoting C Sharp or Java or something like that over Python. Uh, I've already said it's relative to where you live, I mean, where the jobs are and everything. But in this video, I do want to touch up on the topic of why Python is still a good language to learn, though. There's like, there's plenty of examples, and you'll see in this video why. So number one, Python programmers make bank. Um, they are making an average of $103,492 per year, and that's in the United States. Those figures are actually several years old, and the salaries have actually gone up from there. So I wouldn't be surprised if there's uh, if those salaries are quite a bit higher than that at this point. Yep, and according to this article by ZDNet, it's actually Python that is the fastest growing language now. And um, you can see in the chart comparison that they, um, they they show that Python has now surpassed all the other popular languages that we might have thought were actually more popular than Python. A lot of that has to do actually with the data sciences and the machine learning um, that has just exploded and, and Python being the front runner in that, that arena. And this article here is several years old, but it shows that YouTube was actually written in Python. So that's one of the major successes of the Python language. And uh, it's actually one of the reasons why Python is so popular as well is because Google used it not just with YouTube, but also with its original search uh, engine was all in Python. And here's some more evidence of the job growth from Indeed.com. So Python's also responsible for a lot of popular websites like my own hipstercode.com website. It's also responsible for lesser known websites like Instagram and Reddit. <laughs> and, and that last image of Reddit there is actually the um, article that got featured a couple months ago. It was like the front page of Reddit, the number one story about Udemy using some of my content illegally. Uh, that was a big to do, but you can see that that was a pretty popular article there. Another reason why Python is great is that it is an open source project, which means that everybody that contributed to Python did so freely. Companies contributed to its financial success by donating money, but ultimately it is a product that is owned by the community and it's, it works for the community. Companies can use the code base for their own betterment, but you can see the actual Python programming language itself is written in C and um, and it's all available on github so you can see the actual source code and you can even contribute to it assuming you know enough about c to be able to write some of that code so another reason for python's job growth and its success and why it's the number one fastest growing language is because it's in so many different areas um, it's not concentrated in, in like web or uh, robotics or anything like that it's actually in web robotics it's in gaming um, you can see here that uh, TensorFlow is actually a machine learning library that is uh, created by Google. It was an open source project as well. And, and that is actually using Python. And um, e the Google chart shows the trends of Python. You know, it has showed gradual improvement since, what, about 2004 or so. Um, and then Python's also even used for games. So, like, one of the most famous games that, that Python has used to make a, a possibility was EVE Online. Um, so there's all the, there, there's all these different different arenas and and uh, and avenues that you can go if you want to choose to use Python. I still like kind of think that, you know my opinion is still like you, you look at your local job market, you look at what those jobs are. Like if all the Python jobs in your area want PhDs because they're doing a bunch of machine learning and stuff like that or artificial intelligence type work, you may not be able to get that type of job. So like that's not going to be what you're going to want to you know focus on most likely. So that's really what my advice is. Um, if for me, like I, I definitely use Python. I make money with it. Uh, but professionally, I use like C Sharp and JavaScript mostly. But I would definitely write Python professionally if I had that opportunity. It's just that there's not as many. Um, so it really just depends on, on where you're at. But Python is definitely growing. So where there's not as many job opportunities now, I think that that's probably going to change. And it's, it certainly has been changing over the last like five or 10 years. So anyway, guys, thanks for watching and make sure you subscribe for more videos. Have a good day. Bye.